Hello everyone, today I'm going to be telling you guys why I chose AMD's FX6300 over Intel's i3-6100. Now, this is a question I'm getting asked, like, all the time, literally. I get it in almost tons of comments everywhere where people know that I'm using a 6300. They say, why didn't I go with the 6100? And I tell them several times, but the question keeps coming up. So, there's a few reasons. First, because I will utilize all the six cores because of my rendering in Sony Vegas Pro that utilizes more cores. And the 6100 is, um, like, way more expensive for less cores, and so, for me, the 6300 was a definite buy, because the 6100 just couldn't deliver as many cores. And that brings up the second one. The 6300 is only $80 compared to the i3 is $125 on Newegg, and I just thought budget budget, so I gotta do it. Third, well, simple. I like AMD better than Intel. Intel rips everyone off, basically. AMD at least gives reasonable prices. And fourth, because I seriously believe this, AMD's stock cooler is much better than Intel's one. Intel's one is like... You, you, you buy it and put in their stock cooler. If you buy an Intel CPU and put in the stock cooler, it's not going to run great. But this, this stock cooler with my 6300 is actually keeping it very cool. It's at like 65 degrees. And that's not overclocked though. So yeah, but still, stock cooler, I'd say it's good. Anyway, so I know this is a pretty short video, but now I hope you guys will stop asking that question now. So, bye.